Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Noor Networks. In this tutorial, we will set up Active Directory Synchronization in Sophos Central. Setting up a synchronization with Active Directory helps you to manage your user and user group and protect your computers. Once you successfully synchronize the Active Directory, all the users and the group will be imported to your Sophos Central and using those users and group, you will be able to apply the security policies as per your organizational requirement. So just going to the over here, you will see that you will find the users which are being fetched from the computers or the one which you have created and the groups you will see there is none of the group. Once you have successfully synchronized the Active Directory, you will see all the users and groups from the Active Directory over here. So let's begin with the synchronization uh, setup. The very first thing what you are going to do is you will click on global setting over here. Going to global setting, you will click on directory services. It is saying you don't currently have a directory service setup. Click on get started. Over here, it is giving you two options under directory services. The first option is AD Sync. If you have your Active Directory on premises, you will choose the first option that is AD Sync. If you have an Active Directory hosted on Azure Cloud, you will be choosing Azure AD Sync option. Since I have my Active Directory hosted on premises, I will be clicking AD Sync and I will click on Next. Over here, it is giving you an option, download installer, change directory services, purge data. Before we begin to our actual configuration, just understand these terms. Purge data will basically purge all the data being imported. The second option is change directory services. Uh, the change directory services is an option. Let's say, for example, if you have done a mistake, you were supposed to choose uh, option for Active Directory over Azure Cloud and you have chosen Active Directory on premises you can do it from here click on change directory services over here and you will get an option simply what you have to do is you can choose as well as sync if you want to change it and you will click next or if you want to remove the directory services which you have installed just now you will simply click on done and click next since we are on the right track we will just simply close and we will be coming back to our actual configuration click on download installer once the setup file is downloaded, what you have to do is simply run this setup. Over here, uh, you can see that Sofa Central AD Sync Utility Setup has been opened. You click on Next button over here. It is asking you to choose a destination folder. I will be keeping the default path. If you want to change, you can change it from here. Clicking on this change and you can define your path. I will keep the default path and I will click on next. Click on install and the installation will begin over here. It is saying that the completed the Sophos Central AD Sync Utility Setup Wizard. Here you can see that there is a check on launch so for central ad sync utility just keep this check as it is and click on finish and you will see that the so for central ad sync utility will be launched automatically over here in the taskbar you can see that utility utility synchronization setup over here it's saying welcome to so for central ad sync utility and the notes are being given click on next over here now over here it is asking you for Sophos Central API credentials. So in order to get this Sophos Central API credentials, what you have to do, you have to go to Sophos Central again. Uh, you will click on global setting button. Over here under administration, you will find API credential management. Click on API credential management. Just check this box that I have read and understood and accept the terms and conditions and click on accept. You can see that it is saying no API credentials are available. You will click on add credentials over here and it is saying credential name. We will give the name as like API for 
Edisync. Description is optional. It is asking you for the role. You will select Service Principal Directory Sync and simply click on Add button over here. Now you will see that it has generated a client ID and the client secret for you, which we require in the Edisync utility setup. What you will do for the client ID, you can see the client ID over here. You will copy this client ID from here and you will be pasting it over here in the client ID. Moving on, it is asking you for the client secret. You will just click on show client secret over here and you will copy this as well. And then moving over here, you will you are going to simply paste it on change secret over here and you will be simply pasting it over here and click on change client secret it is validating your credentials and it is saying that credentials are correct the below part you will see proxy setting if you have a proxy in your network you will simply check this box you will provide the proxy address the port number Additionally, if you have a proxy authentication enabled, then you will be use, uh, adding the proxy user and password as well. Since I don't have a proxy in my network, I will simply click on next. What we have done over here, going to Sophos Central, we have generated a API from there where we get a client ID and a client secret. We have put that only over here and we will click on next. Over here, it is asking you for the AD configuration. Uh, the first, you can see the check use LDAP over SSL connection. I will just uncheck because I don't have over SSL connection. It is asking you for the host name or IP address of uh, your Active Directory LDAP server. So over here, host name or IP address, I will put the IP address of my Active Directory server. The port number, I will put 389. Then it is asking you to put the Active Directory username usually as domain slash username format. So I will say no networks is my domain and I will be using the administrator account and password for password I will just click on change password and I will put my AD password over here. And I will click on next button. Over here, it is asking you which domain to include when discovering Active Directory and Directory to Sync. Include all domains or include only the checked domain. I will say include on, include only the check domain as if now I have only one domain so if I say include all domain or include only one domain it doesn't make sense because I only have one domain and it has taken you can see the dc equal to new networks and dc equal to dot com this is a proof that your active directory uh, I mean your this particular setup is able to reach to your active directory click on next button over here over here you have a ad filters if you can if you want to define a filter you can just simply say define filter from here and you can define the user filter if you want to add you can add a, your user filter if you want to add a user group you can add or you can remove it public folder I, what i am going to do is it is taking all at the entire user and group i will keep this setting as it is and i will just check the sync devices and click on next over here it is asking me the synchronization schedule like uh, the first option is never definitely we need to synchronize whenever we are doing a changes that should be reflected right so it is giving you whether you want to synchronize monthly weekly daily or twice we will say twice a day at the following time let's say we will say one time i want uh, in the morning six o'clock and the another time I need is like in the evening six o'clock and what I'm going to do is I will simply click on finish once you click finish over here you will see that anything utility has started it is 
checking for updates and all. We'll click on preview and sync. Now it has started to gather a data from the actor directory and it is just performing several checks over here. And this uh, thing it is saying that whether these are the things which will be added, just you have to approve the changes and continue or you want to reject the changes. We will just click on approve the changes and continue. And once you have approved the changes and this is completed, then you will simply click on exit. Now to verify that uh, whatever configuration and setup we have done for the AD synchronization is successfully completed or not, we will be going to people over here and we should find all the users from the active directory over here. In the users, now you will see earlier it, there were hardly 3-4 users but now you will see all the users from the active directory are being reflected over here. You can see this all users are being coming from Active Directory. Let me take you to the Active Directory and I will show you all these users and you uh, it will be proof that yes, all the users which we are seeing over here are being imported from the Active Directory. Let me take the login to the AD server over here. Going to Active Directory users and computers. And guys over here you can see all the users which are visible over there are over from the active directory let me open this for you this you can see the user sira shake arkham shake then in the management you will see ikra azar this all user if you will see are being over here azar arkham and so on even if you go to group over here you will see all the groups are being imported from the active directory so guys, this is how you will be uh, synchronizing your actor directory. Just to recall, what we have done is the very first thing we have uh, done is we went to the global setting over here and then under directory services, we have started the directory services. We have installed a utility. We run that utility and then we have seen uh, that that was installed and the setup wizard was launched for the actor directory synchronization. We have seen that over there very first thing we have entered the api credentials the api credentials we generated from the sofo central going to api credentials management and after creating this uh, api credentials what we did we have used this api credentials thereafter we have provided the active directory username password and ip addresses and finally we have configured the synchronization setting and approved the changes whatever we have done and finally we have verified that all the users and groups are being reflected in your sofo central which has a which was a proof that you have successfully synchronized your active directory so guys that's all for this tutorial if you like my video please subscribe to my youtube channel and do share with your friends thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial